Hey everybody, this is Calvin from Takuban. Today we are going to take a look at the Fjall Robin Reconkin backpack. We have this in the sunflower color. Um, this is the fifth Fjall Robin Konkin backpack that we've looked at. Uh, we've taken a look at the Konkin Classic, the Konkin Laptop 15, the Konkin Mini, uh, and the Konkin Number 2. And you'll find those videos on our YouTube channel, Takuban Prime. Uh, if you're so inclined. This backpack is very similar to the Konkin Classic uh, and the Konkin number two. It's a special edition series. It's the Reconkin because the fabric it's made out of, called Spin Dye, is made out of uh, uh, recycled polyester. So this backpack is actually made out of 11 plastic bottles that got recycled. And What's interesting about this fabric, besides the fact that it's recycled plastic, um, is the color or the process that they use to make the color, uh, if you will. So instead of traditional fabric which gets dyed, um, the spin dye fabric, if I understand it correctly, actually infuses the color into the yarn at the time of the yarn being made. Um, there's a lot of information out there about spin dye but what i'm here to tell you though is that it feels different it looks different uh the color just really pops you'll notice on all the reconking backpacks they're bright colors uh to really show off this technique uh it wears better so it's uh color fastness is better uh than the other conkins uh fabrics that they use like the vi9 on f and the g1000 the feel is different where the Konkin Classic is a little bit more rigid and the uh, Konkin number two feels perhaps more rugged. This has kind of a cotton feel. You can feel the little fibers um, on this. It feels soft and because of that, it feels like a normal backpack. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe. It doesn't feel like a Konkin. To me, all, all the way up until this point, the Konkins have always had more structural rigidity, right? This one feels a little bit softer. Uh, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. It, it'll take a little bit of time to get used to if you've had other Konkins in the past. Uh, the quickest way to identify a re -Konkin backpack is by looking at the logo. So you'll see here that it's actually embroidered on, which is very neat where all the other Konkins have the standard uh, Fjall Robin logo with uh, the white background and then the red uh, logo with the, with the company name. This one is embroidered directly onto the fa fabric itself, uh, which is cool. Other aspects of this backpack are the same as all the Konkins that we looked at pretty much. You still get one small pocket, two uh, pockets on the side, the thin straps with the X mount to kind of help better distribute the weight. You have the two handles, uh, front and back, along with a little clasp to keep them together so you can use it as a tote bag uh, and convert this backpack into a dumbbell, I guess, if you pack enough weight into it like we kind of have here. Um, still, we see the great stitching that, that we've really liked uh, and we've seen on the other backpacks from Konkin or from Fjall Robin. Let's take a look here though at what we've been able to pack. Uh, because with this video we want to help answer one of the most frequently questions or one of the questions we get most frequently uh, about these Konkins. And that is, can I fit a 15 inch laptop into a standard Konkin, a Konkin Classic, uh, or even the Konkin number two? And because this is the same size, same dimensions as those two backpacks, Thought this is a great opportunity to answer that question so let's dive inside here and see what laptop we've been able to pack okay so you still get the u-line zippers and okay so we've actually got two laptops in here first one here is the 13 inch macbook pro this is the 2009 version uh, the sizes have been relatively the same that's proof uh, that something is actually in there, but it fits, right? You have a little bit more headroom in there, room on the side, 
there's no problem fitting a 13 inch laptop um, in here. We'll take this out. And what we have in the back behind it is a 15 inch ThinkPad. This model is the P50. Uh, we will put the dimensions of this laptop in the descriptions so you guys can get a sense of whether or not your laptops will fit. But for us, this is one of the bigger or thicker, I should say, 15 inch laptops that's out there in the market. It's considered a workstation class of laptop. So for 15 inch, it's, it's one of the bigger ones. And you can see here, we've been able to put it in there without a problem. Um, the only thing is, you know, notice from the outside that the corners jut out a little bit, suggesting that it is kind of pushing the limits, right? Um, so long term, I'm not quite sure the effects it will have. You'll probably see more wear here if you carry this around all day, all the time. Um, but as far as whether or not you can actually fit a 15 inch laptop into the main compartment of a Reconken, a Konkin Classic or a Konkin Number 2, the answer is yes, you can. Um, it's just whether or not you really want to put that stress there. That's, that's kind of up to you. Um, these fabrics should wear well. Konkin or Fjall Robin has a reputation for hard wearing uh, backpacks. So, uh, you know, th that, that's really up to you. For us, we wouldn't have a problem with using this to carry our laptop, uh, you know, uh, around. Um, but I would still probably opt for the laptop version. Uh, just for the straps. Uh, at the end of the day, you're still carrying a lot of weight if you plan on carrying your laptop, and these straps just, they're not gonna cut it. So either get the Konkin Laptop 15, or get the add-on, the add-on uh, shoulder pads that you can attach to the straps here to make it a little bit more comfortable for you. Um, but otherwise, oh, let's see where this guy is made. Uh, I think that's the other question we get often. I wanna know, so this is the reconking, you can see the tags there. And this one is made in Vietnam. So this reconking backpack that we have, Vietnam. Uh, we have seen mostly conking backpacks made in Vietnam. Uh, one of them was made in China though. So uh, I think they have you know factories all over and uh, out of the conking backpacks we've gotten, those are two countries of origin. But uh, this one's good. It has the, let's take this out. The so-called seat pad uh, that we saw in the Konkin Classic, not the nice one that we saw in the Konkin number two, as well as the name tag in the back. So like I said from the beginning, uh, or in the beginning of the video, this backpack is very much like the Konkin Classic and the Konkin number two. The fabric is special, the fabric is different, that's what sets it apart. Um, you kind of tell how it sits. It's a lot more relaxed, it's a lot more casual. Um, and there you have it, there is a recock. And as always, if you have any questions, please let us know. We make these videos to help you make a better decision on which backpack to get. Uh, so questions, ask away, you know? Uh, we'll try to find the answers for you. Uh, if we don't know it, chances are somebody else who's watching the video would know it. So. Uh, we appreciate all feedback. We appreciate all the new subscribers out there. Thank you very much for watching. Give a shout out to Cuba.